So it leaves us asking the question, is Obamanomics bad for U.S. businesses? We're going to bring in Jim Pethokoukas, CNBC contributor, and Reuters Breaking Views columnist, also Erica Payne, co-founder of the Agenda Project. Great to see both of you. Jimmy, I'll start with you. What do you say? Good or bad uh, for business? Uh, I'd say, <laughs> see, the problem here is not whether it's bad for business or good for business. The key, I think, in the next few years, if you want to succeed in America, you're going to have to be not out-compete, not out-innovate. You're going to have to out-lobby your competitor in Washington. Uh, the Obama administration can be great for business if you have good lobbyists where you can lobby the administration and so lobby Democrats in Congress. So where does that leave small businesses who don't have that kind of money for uh, Listen, this has, been this has been absolutely uh, been terrible for them. That kind of scenario, the one I just outlined, is really great for big business and established players. It's bad for small business and it's bad for entrepreneurs. Eric, I want to get your response to the CEO of AK Steel. He put it out pretty plainly. It's higher costs, higher taxes, got to be passed along to customers in the form of higher prices. How do you react to that businessman? Well, I'd react this way, which is when people go into an emergency room and they don't have insurance, somebody's going to pay for their health care. And so what is happening now is that's being passed to the consumer. And so what Obama's health care bill tries to do is say, says to people, you need to be responsible for your own health care. But I want to go back to but, the point that the other guest just but made, which is about small business. I wanted you to react to what the CEO because, said. Because, you guys wait. don't want to answer the question. I, I want you to focus in. Okay. The issue of emergency care is an important issue. There are yes. many different ways to do that. But the, the CEO of AK Steel, I'm sorry I can't remember his name, made some very clear points about higher costs, more benefits, and higher uh, taxes, and he has to pass it along to his customers. A lot of people, Erica, are it's making already this being point. Passed along to his What's customer. your reaction? Is the guy it's wrong? Do you being, think he's wrong? It's already being passed along to his customers. It's just being passed along to his customer through a different door. But this is so a whole he can new, pass it down because it's a business expense, but it's already being passed to American taxpayers Erica, through the system right. that we have set up. Erica, That's number Erica. one. Number two, no reasonable person can believe that the health care system that we had is sustainable. It was literally a boa constrictor around American business. And business, as everyone knows, is the engine of our prosperity. Okay, okay, but let's talk about it. Okay, one second. I want to Very few people think that this bill, while may, I, I have no doubt this bill will expand coverage, uh, that's without a doubt, but very few people think that one, it's going to reduce costs, and two, it does much about the budget deficit. If you want to just okay, focus on the health care plus budget you've office, ignored the, the question of the, of the of higher cost of capital, uh, that this administration is doing through its, inc through its tax increases on capital gains and dividends, that is a cost on business which is getting worse. You're no? just, I mean, what you're saying is just patently false. That's There's not true one, at all. $138 Talk Medicare, people. billion dollars of deficit reduction. Well, Alan if Greenspan, you had left in Alan place Greenspan the medical challenged system, that. system Alan that Alan Greenspan challenged that. before. Douglas Holtz, Econ, former costs, CBO director. I, They're not perfect either, Erica. They're not perfect, but that really begs the question. The question is, is there a demonization of companies and profits going on here? Absolutely I, I, that's where not. Jim, that's where I absolutely want to go. That's not. what the guy from AK Steel was trying to get at. So in Obama's budget that just went just passed with no Republican votes, the following things were true. There was a tax cut for small business. There was more money given to the Small Business Administration to give um, loans to businesses. The caps to small businesses, to small business loans out of the SBA were raised. Ninety-five percent of Americans got a payroll tax in the budget that just passed, Erica, which means there business, is more money if I'm a small in the hands business, of American Erica, consumers. If I'm a small business and I want to grow and I want to add that extra employee, isn't there an incentive here not to grow because that means there I'm isn't. going to have to be responsible for their health care? There isn't. Um, there is That's a 35% of businesses will get a 35% a reduction to small businesses in health care, in the health care bills sorry, that just passed. If you, talk to and if, you, if you get the your face out of the bill, bill and talk to actual people through. in small right, let, business. Let Jimmy answer the question. And this, the jobs bill that just went through had a tax credit for businesses that bring on new employees. Yeah, so tax rates on small businesses, are they going up? Business. But that credit's for six months. This bill is forever and ever. Jimmy P., you got to get in here. Uh, listen, uh, first of all, she, she should actually talk to real business people, real CEOs, real small business people who are terrified by what's coming down the pike. And she completely ignored my point about, hi about higher, uh, higher taxes on capital, which again are forever, mm -hmm. not you're six talking, months, not temporary. To... I mean, we're talking, a dr I mean, listen, let me finish. Uh, we're talking dramatic increases. We're talking cap, going from, cap gains going from 15 to 24. We're talking dividend taxes going up by 200%. I mean, these are unprecedented tax increases on capital. How is that good for business? Okay, 
the point that you just made to any person watching this show who knows anything about the 15 percent to 20 percent knows that to what you were saying has absolutely nothing to do with investment in business that that that's all is I need to the hear. cap gains tax that hedge that's funds hear, are really. taking well, advantage of, of has nothing to do with actually i'll find you a hundred i'll find you a hundred what you're saying salary. from across Erica, the political spectrum. Erica, agree I appreciate your point of view very much, but what you're saying is the cost of capital doesn't matter and the incentive and that. the incentive return on capital right. doesn't matter. What I'm saying I is that the cost your point of capital of view, matters but with I don't investment. Think it, holds it doesn't water. matter. I just don't think it holds um, water. It's a very substantial increase. It's All a right. huge increase. It isn't. We didn't have to go there either, by the way. We're going to just leave it there because <laughs> I think we better uh, move Incentives along. Incentives do matter. Great to see you guys.